Good evening, afternoon, morning, nighttime, whatever it is out there with you beautiful smiling people. Noel, a whole year old. We're going over noob to pro, everything that I've learned from Noel the entirety time of Genshin. Y'all have had access to her, and I know more people are going to be playing her now due to the whole fact that, well, you know what? Let's circle back to our roots here. And, you know, she does do some amazing stuff. Very, very solid character for your second abyss party, your main healer. You do it all, your Swiss Army knife. So, as we go over this character again today, one year later, if you like this video, make sure you hit that sub button, especially if you find yourself coming back here all the time. And make sure you turn the bell on as well. Now, one year ago, I decided to pick up and main Noelle, and I've been using her ever since. And man, is she not just a powerhouse monster. Now, we're going to be going over some mistakes you might be making with this character some things that you might be having wrong with this character some you know misinformation that you've been told about this character some of the best weapons artifact sets it's gonna be very easy for you to handle here so let's get into this for you guys now first of all two weapons i want to talk about here you already know what they're probably going to be here white blind as well as the good old serpents fine both are fantastic slash amazing weapons she abuses these weapons more so than anything else in the game especially if you get some refinement ranks on these bad boys white blind obviously is a crafted weapon claymore you got to get the prototype for it use this thing it's going to be amazing here for you gives you defense percent as the main stat it also increases your attack in your defense by up to 12 percent for four stacks so 48 percent attack 48 percent defense plus the additional 51.7 percent defense which is amazing for her because of her elemental burst you turn all of this defense into attack and it's a it's a doozy especially if you get her to constellation six one day it is a doozy of a weapon for you to use there it even bests the five star weapons another weapon that bests five star weapons is going to be the serpent spine the serpent spine is amazing as well now it's easier to build than the white blind and at the end of the day neck and neck they're about the same damage we're talking like one to two percent depending on what artifact substat main stats you're rolling there how well your artifacts rolled and this weapon is amazing too so give you crit rate and then if you have some refinement ranks you're a battle pass man woman child woe buffet you're gonna get some bonus damage up to 50 percent damage bonus here now the one differentiation between these two they might do around the same amount of damage here but this one is going to increase the damage you take while boosting the damage you do whereas the white blind here is going to boost up the damage you do and reduce the damage you take slightly based on your defense it's also going to increase your heals in your shield size from your ability talents. quickly talking about ability talents here priority well guess what you need to level them all okay so the most important one here is sweeping time in combination with the normal attack now a lot of people get this one mixed up they think sweeping time is the damage multiplier you do with your attacks after you use your element of burst that is not true when you activate sweeping time the first two hits she'll pop the sword and swing one time automatically that is sweeping time damage everything you do else afterwards when you're spinning around in a circle just normal attack spamming that is from your normal attack talents here so you need to level them both up to maximize your damage you've been seeing small numbers that's the mistake you've been making there now breastplate here is also good it's your shield it also helps you heal while it's activated and this is going to be both based off of your defense it also has a little bit of extra flat healing and damage absorption on top of that so this one is also very good to level up but it's not the majority of where your damage comes from it's where your healing comes from as well it also has a very lengthy 24 second cooldown but nice and clean thankfully it's going to reduce that cooldown as you do damage every four attacks that you do it's going to reduce the cooldown by one second and then don't forget about devotion here when you have an active character that's not noel and you fall below 30 percent hp you're going to get a shield equal to 400 percent of her defense which is the make or break actually between choosing the white blind for some people and choosing the serpent spine because having that big defense this would be a very big shield for you there now, artifact selection very easy there's two sets you really should focus on here one of them is going to be either the gladiator set the other one's going to be the good old retracing bolide set both these sets are fantastic here the easiest one to kind of get access to because you're going to be leveling up your character if you're a new player you're doing those world bosses the hypostasis the all of those things out there you'll be able to get some gladiators triumphant from that and this is going to increase your attack by 18 percent we don't really care too much about that noelle's base attack at level 90 is 799 so this is going to be like right around 
slightly under 160 attack which is okay but nothing game breaking and then the four piece here if you're using a sword claymore which we're using claymores you do an extra 35 percent normal attack damage now the other sets could be the retracing bolide set increases your shield strength by 35 percent for the two piece this is going to make you a bruiser dps healing legend god out there okay it's going to increase your survivability while she's out on the battlefield with her own shields or someone else's shields by 35 percent super awesome then the four piece here is while you're protected by a shield and this counts as her own shield or maybe like a crystallization shield or some other character shield crystallization shields counting are a huge thing because you're gonna make them over and over and over with noel you get 40 percent increased normal in charge attack damage so if you'd like to spin to win out there this is gonna allow you to boost up that spin damage by 40 percent which is gonna do a lot of aoe damage if you're surrounded by like six seven eight enemies spitting spinning to winning is what you're doing here with noel now as far as main stats go for these artifacts geo damage goblet is at the end of the day what you're aiming for okay and then you're gonna have a crit something a circlet 99 percent of the time if you can get a crit rate circlet with a large crit damage subset like this one here maybe a little energy recharge it's gonna help you out tremendously and that's gonna boost up your overall damage having high crit rate is what you're aiming for here and our sands is a defense percent sands this is here for multiple reasons uh number one you are going to get more defense per roll than you will attack so this is a 58.3 sands at plus 20. this is a 46.6 percent .6 attack sands at plus 20. so you get slightly more defense than you do attack in addition to that as well as you level up sweeping time so you get it to plus 13 you get 85 percent of your defense goes to your attack which is quite a lot right is that 100 percent? no but you do get 85 percent. and what will happen here is that extra little defense per roll will sort of make up for the whole fact that you don't get all 100 percent here but on top of that eventually as you play through the game maybe you're a new player you will eventually one day hit constellation six which is going to give you an additional 50 percent of your defense towards your attack so going for defense right away is actually going to save you time and make you better in the long term and you're not going to really lose all of that power in the early game plus you're going to be healing for more and shielding for more so that is why we're going for a defense percent sans now as far as subset goes crit chance crit damage defense percent if you get some attack that's fine uh one set you really don't need is elemental mastery it's gonna boost up your crystallization shields but they don't really matter all that much but you do want a little bit of energy recharge so my total stat distribution here right now 54 crit rate 148 crit damage 129 percent energy recharge and that is going to be oh uh, you know if you can hit this that's kind of like we'll call it the gold standard right i know someone out there's be like i have 198 crit damage well you're the g okay you got it uh, i don't but this is like the gold standard is what you try to hit eventually these are a nice stat spread two to one crit damage crit ratio is mathematically the best but try to hit 50 55 percent if you can't keep that two to one all the way up there now as far as constellations go there is one very important one if you can get it early on if you want to make her you're like your healer dps substitute constellation one is very good and this is going to be because it's going to make your elemental burst in your elemental skill when both activated make your heal chance 100 which is a big one there outside of this the other ones are okay charge attack damage up that's fine you know extra levels in your shield that's fine to be cleaned is pretty cool like when your shield blows up it hits for 400 of your attack and this does also count if you have your elemental burst activated where your defense goes to your attack when it blows up hey man if you got that elemental burst activated it's gonna blow up for a lot of damage and then obviously c5 and c6 super awesome three extra levels to sweeping time and then it must be spotless 50 extra defense to attack super awesome there now there's so many teams that you can run with noel that it's just amazing now if you can do it i would try to run her with at least one other geo character this is for the geo resonance and the geo resonance is i think one of the best resonances in the entire game shield strength increased by 15 percent which is why you saw that i had 50 percent shield strength in my stat screen 35 percent from the retracing bolide 15 from this 50 percent stronger shields also you're going to do 15 percent more damage and your enemies are going to have their geo resist reduced by 20 percent which is a big damage increase there in comparison to not having this times two elemental resonance now there also are a bunch of characters that you can run with her in a double geo team you can run ning guang you can run zong li you can run albedo you can run the main character as well if you have them in their geo form all fantastic characters to run alongside her they're all doing different things and they're all good for certain reasons if you want an off damage field character albedo ning guang big single target burst damage also has a geo damage buff up zong li i mean 
what what do you want it's, it's zong li all right zong li but definitely try to run at least one other geo character it's a very solid second team as well if you're just getting into trying to build a second team for the abyss start with ning wong and noel and then fill in whatever you need for the other parts right you have like a shield or healer you have a single target damage dealer you have an aoe damage dealer fill in something else right maybe you need certain floors a pyro character or a hydro character or a cryo character put those characters there work on your second team that way so this is what i call the raw damage squad and uh, it's pretty interesting so we have noel we have bennett and we have kujo sar now kujo sar does not need to be c6 she's just in another attack buffer you can see our attack right now is going to be uh 1259 which is extremely extremely low so what we're going to do here very important also first tip here is the white blind if you're using the white blind these stacks that you get from the white blind you want to get all four stacks before you use your elemental burst this is because the defense part will be snapshotted when you activate your elemental burst if you don't have them then you'll snapshot zero buffs from the stack so we want to get our buffs up here first so we'll go uh one two three four then we'll pop this we need to pop this uh-huh we'll activate and now we have 6807 attack we have the attack buff from bennett we have the attack buff from kojo sara and we have the c6 defense to attack buff here now if you had the this team in your party and you have access to choosing between white blind or the serpent spine serpent spine will definitely out damage the white blind here because yeah you'll lose a thousand attack or whatever but you'll gain 50 percent elemental damage bonus and that will significantly outweigh the extra little bit of uh defense to attack ratio we got from the white blind so keep that in mind there in this one circumstance with this one team where you're running double attack buffer okay that's where you're going to be using the serpent spine over anything else although you will be losing out on shield strength as well as heal strength on top of that and you can do you know a considerable amount of pretty decent damage here off the top off the top 46 answer other common questions i see about noel all the time it's what about xyz five star weapon if you have the white blind or the serpent spine you have some refinement ranks on them don't do it like i have a ref unforged r5 and it's not better okay so white blind serpent spine go for that the defense scaling is just too good in combination with her constellation six even an r5 something like the unforged pales in comparison to uh to the good old white blind it's so amazing on her just because you have so much stats almost 100 defense and then 135 percent of your defense goes into your attack it's absolutely wonderful now the other one i see is goblet what about defense goblet i read in uh this one guy said defense goblet defense goblet is not what you're going to want to be doing now if you have equivalent substat roles crit chance crit damage all that good stuff on a geo goblet or a defense goblet go for the geo goblet it's wonderful especially if you're using an attack buffer there now however if your geo goblet is terrible it's got like 12 attack and hp and that's it that's all it has and your defense goblet has a bunch of crit chance and a bunch of crit damage go for the defense goblet because it has better substat rolls that is 100 percent what you want to aim for it's just not worth sacrificing all that crit chance and crit damage for that little bit of elemental damage there and even though this guy's not intended for new players i get this question all the time from new players i don't have these artifacts yet what should i use honestly just use whatever artifact that has good rolls if you get like a geo damage goblet use it i don't care if it's a healing goblet if you get like a defense percent sans use it i don't care what set it's from i don't care if it's martial artists or berserkers or your scholar set i don't care you're not matching sets early game it does not matter use the best stats for you it'd be better for you to have like a a 50 crit rate you know 95 crit damage character than it would be for you to have like a 10 crit rate 55 crit damage character but you have a four piece set on you just it's not going to outweigh the having just the raw power of the right stats on your character's early game just aim for stats don't look for sets just remember just because she's a maid doesn't mean that she doesn't need some love and some care she needs all the talents leveled up all that stuff just like this kick noel you gotta clean this up girl 